If I put my name on something, there's a function to it. I'm proud to put my name on it. I don't want to just put my name on a piece of aluminum that bolts on the ass end of your truck. I want it to do something. My reaction to the guys in the art group wanting to go into diff covers was, here's a piece I see everywhere. But I was really curious about what they actually do. Are they just bling or they're worth something? To me, a diff cover is going to be more than a sticker. It's going to be more than a logo. They blame the fluid more than they would blame the diff cover. Unreal. That is just unreal. So we're going to have a hell of a lot of knowledge here. And then we're going to do a hell of a good diff cover. I believe in disruptive product development. My curiosity and the curiosity of the engineering group here drives this to be disruptive. I like hands-on. I like engineers who will go out, go into their dyno cell, and wrench on the engine. That practical hands-on is the old school side of banks. The other side of banks is I'm a futurist. We're real comfortable designing circuitry, writing firmware and software, writing the code that runs it, and perfecting it to run the engines and the devices we manufacture. There's actually generations of people who know me for one thing or another. Early on, we were, we were building drag racing and road racing engines, and then we got into turbocharging back in the 60s, and then we got into boat racing, and then we got into diesel in the late 70s. We've kind of been there at the beginning of the turbocharging thing, at the beginning of the diesel thing. This is a cool place to work. I like working here. There's no other business that I've seen that embodies the engineering and developmental capability with a racing mentality. I have questions, I'm curious, I wanna know things. So whether it's the super gauge or the data monster, or it's a diff cover, we apply the same curiosity to it and use the same technology to develop it. We do it all the same way.